In today's video, we're going to talk about spaying and neutering cats. Cat reacts after spaying. For animal shelters, veterinarians, and serial cat owners, spaying is a pretty routine procedure. In fact, many shelters won't even adopt cats to new owners until they have been fixed. Even though this operation is simple, remember that it may take your kitty time to adjust to the new her. Physical Recovery The most obvious and severe reaction your cat has to spay occurs in the days immediately following her operation. Spaying is a little more traumatic on a female cat than neutering is for males, because the veterinarian must make a long incision across her abdomen. She may eat and drink very little for the first 24 hours, but her appetite should be back to normal within a day or two. Depending on the kind of stitches your vet used, you may need to take your kitty back in to have them removed in a few weeks. Synthetic stitches may prompt your cat to itch or lick at her wound as it heals. The incision. When you first bring your kitty home from the vet, she may walk slowly and gingerly to avoid aggravating her sore tummy. This is completely normal, although you should sneak a peek at the wound from time to time to make sure there is no fluid drainage discoloration or inflammation on her abdomen. These symptoms can indicate an infection or improper healing, which will require a prompt trip to the vet. Expect to see some swelling in the area for the first month after surgery. Immediate mental recovery. To a cat, the trip to the vet and subsequent surgery probably was a very frightening and strange experience. Put yourself in her shoes for a minute and it's easy to figure out why. Your cat may be spooked or shy for a few days after you get her back home. Don't worry, this attitude change is temporary. As your cat's body heals and the stress of the experience fades, she will get back to her old self quickly. Encourage your cat's mental recovery after surgery by petting her gently and providing a warm, comfortable place for her to lay down. Long-term attitude adjustment. You may be worried that spaying will change your cat's personality fundamentally, but this is very unlikely. The procedure will impact your cat's seasonal behavior patterns, but her overall personality will not change significantly, according to the Wisconsin Human Society. When her reproductive cycle was active, your kitty may have displayed extra affectionate or wild behavior, including yowling or roaming great distances when outdoors. These behaviors usually cease after spaying, as they are a direct result of increased hormone levels caused by the activation of your cat's reproductive cycle. She also may stop marking territory with her scent, although spaying does not change this behavior in every cat. Metabolism Many pet owners assume that their beautiful, sleek feline companion will start packing on the pounds after getting fixed. Don't worry though, you don't need to put your cat on a treadmill every day to keep her in shape. Spaying and neutering do not actually cause excessive weight gain or laziness, according to ASPCA. However, your kitty's metabolism will fall probably a little bit in the absence of sexual hormones produced by her reproductive organs. Ask your veterinarian how you can keep your fuzzy friend happy and healthy by switching to a diet with lower calorie content. Spaying a cat. Spaying your kitty is one of the best decisions you can make for her health. A spayed cat is less likely to develop breast, ovarian or uterine cancer. Because of the millions of homeless cats euthanized each year, you are helping the feline overpopulation problem. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Kittens. You can have your kitty spayed before she is a full grown cat. In fact, kittens as early as 6 to 8 weeks old are spayed. A controversy over spaying and neutering young kittens began in the 1970s when animal shelters started seeking ways to stop the overpopulation of cats. The concern was the safety of young kittens undergoing surgery before their reproductive system matured. The neutering debate continues, but research shows that spaying before the first heat prevents possible mammary gland tumors, according to the ASPCA. Young kittens must weigh 2 pounds before the vet will consider the surgery. Heat a female in heat urinates more frequently and drips bloody fluids. They crave attention and will howl for long periods. The heat cycle occurs every 5 to 10 months and lasts 6 to 11 days. Not only is the heat cycle annoying for you, but it will also attract the neighborhood male cats who have not been neutered. Veterinarians recommend that you spay your cat before the first heat, which can occur as early as 4 months old. Precautions If your kitty goes into heat before you have her spayed, wait until the heat cycle is over. Though cats are spayed during heat, it is not recommended because of the possible loss of too much blood. As for older cats, your veterinarian needs to assess their health before undergoing anesthesia. Any operation puts stress on the cat and you want to make sure your older kitty is capable of handling the operation and the recovery. Surgery 
Your veterinarian will provide you with pre-surgery advice. Stop feeding your cat at midnight the night before the surgery. However, kittens are usually allowed to eat before surgery. Under general anesthesia, the vet will remove your kitty's ovaries, fallopian tubes, and uterus. After the surgery, your kitty will have some discomfort but should not be in pain. Provide her with a quiet place to rest away from other animals in the house. Try to keep her from running or jumping for the first few days. To keep her from licking the stitches, give her treats to distract her. Recommended painkiller for cats after spaying. If you're worried your cat may be in pain following her spay procedure, you're not alone. Postoperative pain is a common concern of pet owners when a kitty is discharged after surgery. While some veterinarians send painkillers home with their patients, many consider them unnecessary for most young, healthy cats. Routine spay results in resilient recovery. Your cat is put under general anesthesia for a routine spay procedure and given an analgesic to provide pain management during the operation and initial recovery. When the surgery is performed on young, healthy cats, the incision is very small and is closed using minimal suturing. These cats typically resume their normal, rambunctious activities within a couple of days, with no signs of postoperative pain and no need for painkillers. In fact, many veterinarians believe a little minor discomfort might help restrict your cat's activity, allowing her surgical site time to heal. Painkillers only mask that discomfort and prompt your furry ball of energy to begin tearing around the house before she's fully recovered. When extra help is needed. Your vet may have recommended spaying your cat before her heat cycles begin. When a cat is in heat or pregnant, her reproductive organs are enlarged and engorged with blood. This makes the surgery slightly more involved and can require a longer incision. Vets can also make a longer incision in emergency space performed due to pyometra, a potentially fatal uterine infection. The longer incision allows the doctor to carefully remove the uterus without contaminating the body. Space situations that require more steps or longer incisions and more sutures can cause discomfort in your recovering kitty. Most cats that undergo a routine spay procedure bounce back so quickly that they have a tendency to begin running and jumping sooner than they should. This is when you may need to practice some tough love as you take on the role of policing your furry bundle of energy. Encourage rest by keeping your kitty in a small, cozy area with no elevated surfaces to pounce from or temptations for mischief. Restrict running, jumping, and roughhousing. If you discover your cat perched proudly atop a dresser, gently place her on the floor yourself instead of allowing her to jump down on her own. Excessive activity stretches and strains sutured incisions, which can result in discomfort and possible injury. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.